Jennifer Sabo and I'm sitting in the Mutual Materials Garden. This patio is really a mix of modern design with natural elements and uh, there are 26 materials in this space so we've been able to use a lot of materials uh, to show off the different ways they can be used. The patio is designed using plank pavers which has a, a modern feel to it but because of the depth of the paver I can use it in different ways. It's interesting to see what the material can allow you to do that you couldn't do before. It's, uh, it's really great material. From the entry patio, we go to the fireplace area, which has an isokern fireplace. It's a prefabricated modular unit that you assemble on site, and then you can site it uh, with any type of veneer you like, so uh, slim brick or uh, natural stone, or in this case, a cultured stone veneer in Echo Ridge. One of the things that was really interesting for me in designing this space is creating so many different uh, elevations throughout the space, especially in the retaining walls for the planting beds. I try to create different elevations within the bed. So in the planting bed over my right shoulder, there are multiple elevations to create a little bit more interest. And in a large bed like that, where you're going to have a lot of plant material, it helps to break it up. One thing we did in the outdoor kitchen is that even though we used a lot of natural stone, which we love using from Mutual, we have the Loon Lake veneer and the bluestone counters. Uh, we also used a glazed slim brick. And the glazed slim brick, what's really interesting about it for me right now as a designer is how many colors it comes in, how many things I can do in terms of patterning and uh, how it has both a modern and a traditional feel, that almost glazed subway tile feel can feel very contemporary or it can feel really traditional, so it's a nice material to work with. In the upper patio, it's more contemporary space with a strong focal point. Uh, I wanted to really play with the patterning that the Vancouver Bay can achieve. It's interesting to have a space that's large enough where you can use a large paver that's 12 by 24. That's more modern and can create some different types of patterning. So we use two colors uh, to create a, um, almost an area rug in that, in that space. And I think that this demonstration garden really shows how you can use modern materials and a contemporary layout and still have a lot of interest and personality. So say who you are, make a statement with the materials you use.